Microsoft has rebranded an aspect of its offerings and now we've got Business Chat. You can find it in four places once you have your Microsoft 365 Copilot license. Let's take a look. Here I am on Microsoft Edge and I've signed into my Microsoft account here. You can see I've got the green tick over on the right. Because I've got the paid version of Copilot, I've got two options, Work and Web. And when I click on the Work option, this is Business Chat. This is where I can ask questions about my own data, whether it's emails, calendar appointments, Teams chats or files. Now I'm in Outlook. You can see I've got Email, Calendar and here's the Copilot icon. This is also Business Chat. You can see I'm in the old version of Outlook, I haven't switched over yet. But this is the same screen where I can access and ask questions about my own data. I like that at the top I've got the three dots and can go to Copilot Chats. So if I've found chats I've used before, I can return to them. They'll be saved here. Now let's go to office.com. I've signed in with my Microsoft account and over on the left I've got the waffle where I can access all my apps. But down the left hand side in the navigation bar, here's Copilot and here's Copilot Business Chat. I like that it, in any of these screens it, it will give us some prompts to view. So for example, if you're looking to catch up, here's some catch up prompts. If we're looking to learn or create, it just gives us a starting point. Now if you scroll down, there's plenty of ideas here to get you started. And now finally, we can find it inside Teams. Here I am in Teams and when I click on Chat, I can see the Copilot icon pinned to the top of my chat. This is also Business Chat. I like that you can access Business Chat from all of these four areas. No matter which screen you're in or which way you're working, you'll find access to these prompts to get you started, to your saved prompts and to all of your information in Microsoft Graph.